Hello dear students. Today we will be discussing about measurement of hysteresis loop using method of reversal. So the experiment procedure is very similar to what we have done in the case of measurement of BH curve. Uh, we are having the magnetizing specimen and magnetizing windings being provided. We have the search code provided uh, to the ballistic galvanometer circuit with a key. And in the magnetizing circuit, we have three resistors R1, R2, uh, R2, R4, as well as R3. These three resistors can be used to control the uh, magnetizing current, and R1 can be specially used to adjust the deflection of the ballistic galvanometer. Now, the value will be starting from the point H max, that is, in the BH curve, we will be having this point. So this this point is your H max. Maximum value of H max or the point at which you have the saturation. So corresponding to that you will have V max. So these two points or these two values H max and V max can be obtained from the BS curve that you have already drawn. Now R2 and R4 are adjusted. These two can be adjusted to adjust the magnetization current to maximum value. So the I, once you detect I, once you find out why I, which is equal to Ni by L. So adjusting the current, you can adjust the H to H max. So I, once you get I max, you get H max. Corresponding you will find, corresponding you will find, corresponding you will find the BH curve, you can find out the. Now R1 is again adjusted, can be adjusted to obtain deflection in the ballistic galvanometer and R3 can be adjusted to provide a shunt across the magnetization index. We will see how R3 can be connected. First what we will do is that we will place R2. This is a reverse switch 2 in 11 dash. So once you are connecting 11 dash, we will have the circuit like this um, connected to the magnetizing unit. Okay. So uh, now these are connected, we will have the DC supply yes. going forward. Okay, now uh, once the key is opened and once you close this switch, mm, what will happen is that you will have, you are adjusting R2 and R4 to get the maximum maximum value of magnetization or H max. We will be getting I max and from that you will be getting H max. So from this you are get, getting the point A uh, which corresponds to B max as well as H max or H, H is a maximum value or H max. Now S2 is, so if you connect it like this, already we have a circuit connection which is going like this. Here also from DC supply of connected to 1 1 dash and you are connecting it to the magnetization circuit. So this is a circuit that you have right now and you connect S2 hmm? S2 is in off position so off position is at the center so we are placing S2 to B ok so once you place S2 to B you will have a connection like this through the resistor you will have Okay. So what you can see is that across the DC supply or across the magnetizing winding you are connecting the this particular R3. So R3 is connected as a shunt across this. Now once you connect a shunt across this what happens? The current in this, uh, the impedance seen by the DC supply will be increased and the current in this value will be reduced in this ammeter. So once the current is reduced, H will be reduced and you will obtain a point C. Okay. So once you obtain a point C, you will have, uh, you will get another point HC. You will obtain HC. And how will you find out BC? Also the Valsi galvanometer is already in a steady state position. So from that you will have a net deflection of delta B or you will have a change in flux of delta Y. So corresponding to that you will have a change of flux delta B. So from B max or BM that you have, once you reduce delta B, you will get 
so that is so once you get the point c once you get the point c what happens you have obtained a and c now you have to get uh, this entire stretch from uh, a to b so this uh, after deflection the bell uh, c galvanometer key, key k is closed and uh, the switch is reversed to 2 2 dash r is reversed to 2 2 dash so so once you connect that to 2 2 dash you will have a reversal of current in the circuit okay so reversal of current and uh, this reversal of current uh, 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 will bring your point back to a okay that is s2 is open s2 is open and now it is reversed back reversed and now it is completed one cycle of magnetization and it is coming to point a, a again okay so once you complete a you can change the value of r3 adjust the value of r3 again shunt shunt uh, allow the shunt to be in, in the circuit and you can obtain uh, different points through a ad okay just like we obtain c we obtain other points and you can complete this stretch a to d again always you have to start from a when you will be uh, putting in one one dash then adjusting r3 you will be allowing the shunt to be in the circuit and then get the point now we need to obtain the d e f Okay, so this this is a stretch that we are going for D E F. Already we have obtained A D. Now we will be going for D E F. So in order to obtain D E F, R S two reverse which is placed in one one dash, and uh, S two is in off position and key key is closed. Key is closed and S two is in off position between A and B. Now S two is placed in A. Once you Place S2 to A. What happens? S2 is placed in A. Here S2 will be connected like this. Okay. So S2 will be S2 will be connected like like this up to these two points. And once you Once you do that, after that, what happens? R S two is kept to two two dash. So once you move R S two to two two dash instead of one one dash, okay, what happens? Already your circuit is connected like this. We have the DC supply coming, and across this two two dash, we we'll have the shunt shunt also coming. Okay, so once a once a shunt is available, the current will be reduced to a lower value, and already have the reversal of current. So already, we, so your circuit will be like this, and you have you have a reversal of current, okay. reversal of current, and uh, earlier case once you directly connect it to your circuit will be like this. That is, if we connect it in one one dash, your circuit will be like this. Your current flow will be in this direction, suppose. And if you connect in two two dash, your current flow will be in this direction. And this is for one one dash. So you have a reversal of current. Okay. So due to the reversal of current, and also due to shunting effect, the current is reduced, uh, reverse as well as reduced. So from H M, you will be getting a point minus H K. Okay, you will be getting a point minus H K, which corresponds to point K. So that point is being obtained from this particular uh, by doing this particular process. So once you obtain the point K. Okay, so once you obtain the point K from the ballistic galvanometer, we can get the point and uh, get delta B. Okay? That is a change in deflection. So once you add this minus delta B to this B max, 
you will get for the change in deflection to be max you will get uh, the point g uh, or the flux density corresponding to point k bk that can be obtained so again you can uh, bring uh, uh, put your circuit into one one dash and after the reversal you will again reach to the point a with h max and b max and we'll be repeating the same procedure whatever that we have done to obtain k to complete okay df is being completed by using the same procedure only things that you will be adjusting r3 every time so for different values of r3 you will be getting different uh, points in this curve okay so once you do that you can complete df and once you complete df you will have this stretch completed a b e f is being completed and what you can notice that the other 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 part that is f g l a f g l a is a, an identical half of a d f so once you know this you can obtain f g l a or uh, draw f g l a as a, a mirror image of this one now uh, d that is uh, okay this is a identical this is suppose this is zero this zero d will be equivalent to so zero d will be in the length zero d will be equivalent to zero g as well as length zero e will be equivalent to length zero or o l so suppose this is o o d will be equal to o g o e will be equal to o l in magnitude So once you get this identical relationship, you can draw this, mark the points, complete the curve, so you get the entire DH curve. And uh, remember, uh, entire hysteresis loop. Remember, in hysteresis loop, we have this, this particular BH curve also in the picture. So you have to, uh, do not forget to draw this also. When you get the loop, you have to first draw the BH curve. So along with the BH curve, you have to draw the entire hysteresis loop. So you have to start from zero or O is to point A in A D E F then G L back to A. So this is a uh, uh, route that you need to follow. Now we'll look at how we can obtain the permeability curve. Just like you have what whatever you have done in the previous case, you'll be using a roll and ring. Where it, uh, this is a this circular shaped ring and uh, this is of iron, iron material and you have a primary winding wound over it and there is a search coil which is wound over it and the dialysis galvanometer is connected and uh, you are having a battery and a gear strap as well as a switch and a magnetic to resist measure the current that is flowing in this particular or uh, magnetizing current flowing. and first what we will do is that we will obtain the BH curve so once you obtain the BH curve you know that B is equal to mu h. So from this relationship, mu, mu can be easily found out there, B by h. So once you find out the value, of, once you get B h curve, and you can obtain mu at each point from the values of mu. So once you obtain it, you can draw a mm, permeability curve, mu versus h. So this curve is given the mm, permeability curve, mm, it is between mu and h. So you can see that initially your permeability B is increasing very fast and compared to H and uh, as you move towards saturation there will be a dip in the curve and it flattens out towards once you reach the saturation and becomes mu zero. It becomes mu zero once you move towards the saturation. There will be no further change in the permeability. Okay? So this is a variation of permeability with respect to magnetizing force H. Thank you.